Hey, what's up guys? It's Lumber here. Thank you guys for joining me once again on this beautiful Wednesday. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about Call of Duty, Modern Warfare 3, and Warzone. Content creators and streamers openly, quote unquote, cheating by manipulating the matchmaking with VPNs, two boxing method, and reverse boosting. But before we head into the video, if you guys haven't yet, drop a like and subscribe and join my Discord server down below. And shout out to the Rick Cod, aka the Rick. For hitting me up before his stream and asking to play a few games with me it was a ton of fun and this background gameplay was absolutely incredible but let's get right into the nitty gritty so the first thing i want to talk about is my problem and opinion with content creators and streamers that, that manipulate the matchmaking and where i personally stand on it listen i know that i can't make you stop manipulating the matchmaking by using a vpn two boxing or reverse boosting i know i can't activision only can but I'm not even going to say, like, you guys should stop and all stuff. Because you guys can. It's it's all up to you. I can't force someone to stop. Right? Um, shout out to Metaphor for really teaching me that a couple days ago. So that's where I really stand with it. I personally think it's messed up. And, you know, do what you want with the two boxing reverse boosting, man. Just know that I'm a better player than you in any game. From Elden Ring, Mario Kart, Mario Party. From PlayStation games, from Xbox games, single player games, ARPGs like Diablo and Last Epoch. And then Call of Duty. I'm better than you in anything, okay? I personally think if you have to manipulate the matchmaking, that I am better than you in every aspect. I don't care what rank you are. I don't care about any of that. If you have to manipulate the matchmaking just for you to get easier games, then you're not good. But the main problem that I have with it, right, with the creators and streamers that do it, are the creators and streamers who openly lie about it, who blatantly lie about it. People that hide their screens on stream people that say that they don't do it when they obviously are and they have obvious bot lobbies okay every content creator and streamer from big to small you could have a hundred to a few thousand subs like me or you could be like joe well you could be like nick works right i'm not saying that those guys are cheating by the way i'm just saying the size of their channels right content creators and streamers that are doing that that lie about it that are lying to their audience that live a whole entire lie that their channels based off of the whole entire lie those kind of people is what i have problem with and they're not going to expose themselves because they would openly be admitting to it and i would be completely fine with that if they did i would prefer if they openly admitted to two boxing to vpn to reverse boosting to manipulate the matchmaking for themselves i don't have a problem with people doing it i have a problem with creators and streamers that do do it and lie about it and don't openly admit to it at the beginning of the video or during a stream People like yeah, Joe and Mutinex who, who literally said on stream that they do it, I love them. I have all the respect I can have and will have for them. But creators like Mark of a Hero, Pro MVZ, and others that just that lie about not two boxing, that, that lie about not reverse boosting, and lie about not VPNing. Those kind of creators I have a problem with. I would love to 1v1 them. The Rick wants to do it all the time. I want to do it with these creators, man. I want to see you actually be that good against a real player. I just have the biggest problem with the content creators and streamers that lie to their audience about vpning if you're a content creator or streamer that openly admits to it i fucking love you dude okay but the people once again just to clarify it the content creators and streamers that won't admit to it that lie about it those are the people that i have problems with those are the people we should stop supporting and watching those are the people that don't deserve their audience when other real creators or people that are real with their content or people that are real with their audience should be replacing I want more real creators, man. I want people like Joe or Mutinex. I want more people like Jev. I want more people like the Rick Con. I just want more people to be honest to their audience. Look at every creator's downfall. They lied about something. These people who openly lie about two boxing, VPNing, reverse music, and manipulating the matchmaking who say that, oh, I'm not, when they actually are, you guys' careers are on a thin wire bro because every day the conversation gets brought up if people should be supporting you guys there's a reason why all these creators that lie about it have to make multiple videos every day every couple hours for it to make an actual living good content creators and streamers only have to make one good stream have one good stream have one good video every couple days or every other day they don't need to be posting multiple times in a day i post every day which is good but posting multiple times in one day, every day, that's horrible. I've been doing YouTube for three years and I've learned a lot. And every time I've met a creator that's bigger than me or the similar size, we're all doing the same thing. Just posting a good video and not posting multiple videos, man. I cannot wait to see the downfall of these creators and streamers who lie about manipulating the matchmaking, the VPN, two box and stuff and say that they don't. I, I cannot wait. Because their downfall is coming soon. The next thing I'm gonna be talking about is two boxing, reverse boosting, and what it is and what each does. So two boxing is 
probably arguably the best method to do you literally just need a separate console or pc and a separate account and all account have that all account added and join your party and make the all account the party leader and make that all account queue up into a match once you're in the match these streamers and content creators cut that part of the video and or hide your screen and then they just make the all count leave and then they're solo quad solo trees whatever you want to call it vpning arguably probably the worst method now uh from what i've heard from people who actually openly talk about it and admit to it because they're not pussies vpning you just have to find a service like nordvpn and or vpn service for cheap and you literally just buy it and you're able to vpn from anywhere tell the game that you're anywhere and call it it keeps a track of where you log in steam does as well so it'll say like oh you logged in from you know cuba you logged in from puerto rico you logged in from japan right and they'll give you those kind of lobbies from japan from cuba from puerto rico and or match you up with you know the na's and all that stuff and give you easier lobbies reverse boosting on the other hand probably the second best method and arguably the easiest all you have to do is play bad on purpose you, you lower your kd you lower your stats you lower everything and it just gives you easier lobbies all methods literally just give you an easier lobby but they all cost differently and they all take time to do right and it's very easy to do it's very easy to do for two boxing all you have to do is buy a console or a pc and buy model warfare 3 or download warzone again right for vpn and you just search up a vpn and you buy it you know one time or you pay monthly and for reverse boosting you just play bad that's how easy it is to manipulate the matchmaking and the only thing that is considered cheating technically in activision's eyes is vpning and that's still arguable which is spoofing vpning is spoofing you are lying about where you are you're faking your location aka your identity and spoofing is within the security enforcement policy for activision which i've linked in the description reverse boosting and two boxing is just morally fucked up to do everyone disagrees with it right but there's two sides to this entire argument and conversation the people who do manipulate the matchmaking that use vpns two box and or reverse boost and there's people that disagree with it and think that you are cheating and the argument right now is if everyone should be doing it should everyone be two boxing should everyone be reverse boosting should everyone be vpning should everyone be manipulating the matchmaking to go against activision because technically they're losing money the easier something is to do like a camo challenge or uh, you know for you to record something the less time you're gonna be on the game the less likely you'll actually buy a skin and it hurts activision in the sense that they're losing players or having less player time and all that stuff which they don't really report on paper but they probably tell their investors and all that stuff other than that i don't know how else this is hurting activision if you guys really want to hurt activision play other games stop buying call of duty stop spending money on skins but other than the fact that they lose players and they have less players on the game concurrently i don't see how this is going to hurt activision at all i personally think everyone should not be doing it because you never know if you get banned for any of these methods literally the the, the ban wave for unlock tools was insane right and nobody saw that coming so i personally would not be doing it if i was not a content creator or if i was you know what I'm saying if i didn't know what i know now I still wouldn't do it because morally for me and the integrity that i have for myself and for other players i just want to actually be good at the game without manipulating it at all which i am okay because listen i can be good at any game because i am just naturally talented like that okay and the last thing i'm going to be talking about which is for the people who vpn two box reverse boost and, and manipulate the matchmaking i'm going to be talking about why and what makes it wrong for a lot of people if you're a content creator or streamer this is huge a lot of people feel like they're being lied to that nobody wants to watch a fake video 99.9% .9 of society doesn't want to have fake news 99.9% .9 of society doesn't want to watch a fake video simple as that a lot of people who have a problem with people manipulating the matchmaking with vpns two boxing and reverse boosting we just think that you're not as good as you think you are and that you guys lie to your audience to your friends to other players and all that stuff that's where we see where it's wrong and that's what makes it wrong for us and that's why a lot of people think it's cheating because you are manipulating the game to better yourself but not everyone's doing that when the majority of players are not doing that actually too i personally think you're not playing on the same field as everyone else and that's why people consider it cheating just like in other sports right people are using roids in the ufc oh my god like for example for the ufc trt if you don't know what trt is that is testosterone replacement treatment slash therapy like during the 2000s vitor belfort someone who was notorious for using trt was never on the same playing field as people he was fighting and look at him now 
practice. Couldn't compete. And now it's considered cheating. And society, no matter what it is, especially if we're calling this gaming stuff esports, right? We are most likely going to apply the same principle. You are on an uneven playing field and you have an advantage over others. And when a majority of people disagree with it, people will consider it cheating. And that's where a lot of people make a disagreement with about all this stuff. But to summarize everything, if you are a content creator or streamer or someone who's not honest with manipulating the matchmaking, with using VPNs, two boxing, reverse boosting, or any other method, no one's going to like you. You're not good at the game. And I and so many others are better than you, and you know it. But yeah, this video below, guys. Drop a like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.